Pakataya Hawa, Pakataya Hawa Shai, Pakataya Hawa, Pakataya Hawa Shai, Pakataya Hawa, Pakataya Hawa Shai, Brock Nawa, Brock Nawa, Brock Nawa, Call Hello Yahawa Bashanawa Shai. Shalom, this is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone. And I'd like to say Shalom, you know, um, uh, first and foremost, all praise and glory and honor be unto Yahawa Bashanawa Shai. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth that be like unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners. And to the aquas that are listening and learning. To you I say shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago. And uh, I'm going to call this lesson Searched Out. As a matter of fact, let me first go to uh, my first scripture. It's going to be in the book of Job. The eighth chapter and the eighth verse. And it reads, For inquire, I pray thee, of the former age, and prepare thyself to search of their fathers. So the only way you're going to find out who you really are, it is a search of your mothers. It's a search of your fathers because your heritage is through the man. All right. Can't teach and preach that enough. The man like there's a woman carrying a, a child on her back in a backpack in the distance there. That child is her child, but that child is her husband's lineage. All right. Point blank period. So if her husband is not of the same race as she is, there's no such thing as mixed. Whatever that child's father is, that's what that child is. All right, that's a false uh, pseudoscience construct that has been created. But nevertheless, when I'm speaking of that, I'm talking about the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American. When you, really, when you do your diligent search, what you will find is that you are the, the sons and daughters of the Israelites. You are not Negroes, you are not Hispanics. You are not uh, natives, native Indians. Indian means savage. You're not savages. Savages conquered you, okay? And through that conquering, we got scattered to the four corners of the earth. As a matter of fact, let me grab, uh, and this is what's angering them now, the great awakening, you know, and they're sending their, uh, their henchmen who fail because you can't debunk what's already true, right? The truth stands alone. The problem is, is that their lies are being debunked with the truth. But this is uh, Tobit, the 13th chapter. And uh, the point is in verse 3. But I'm going to start at verse... Well, I'll just start at verse 1. It says, Then Tobit wrote a prayer, rejoicing, and said, Blessed be God that liveth forever, and blessed be his kingdom, All right, which is for his house, his people. Which are, the, which are the sons and daughters of Israel. All right, Yasharala. For he doth scourge and he have mercy. He, had a, he leadeth down to hell and bringeth up again. Neither is there any that can avoid his hand. So uh, hell is a condition, not a place. All right, hell is condition. Like when people say I'm going through hell, you are. You know, when life is hard. Hell is a con Heaven is rulership and hell is when you're in servitude point blank period. If you're not making the rules, if you're not the lenders, if you're the borrower, if you're uh, forced to live under another man's rules and call yourself by the name he's prescribed to you, not who you really are, you're in hell. All right? Point in verse 3. Confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel, for he has scattered us among them. See, we got scattered among them. And see, that's something that the Israelis, the people over in the land of Israel, they can't make that claim. All right? They cannot. Okay? And so, as a matter of fact, let me grab two more scriptures and I'm going to play a video, about a three-minute video clip of, of some Israelis complaining about a situation that's going on with them, which proves that they are not the people of, uh, of the Lord. Because when the Israelites, and I will read that scripture, go back to the land of Israel, they're going to dwell in safety and there will be peace on earth. And the earth is far from either of those things. They're not dwelling in safety alone, all right, at all, and there definitely is no peace on earth. 
So that's they can't be the people. They're not fulfilling the prophecy. You know? You remember the whole thing with Cinderella, only she fit the shoe. They don't fit the shoe. All right, but this is Deuteronomy 28 and 48, something I, I've spoken.